So this is a review of the Veterans Campground and we are here right now. It's a, uh, it's about almost eight o'clock at night. So I have our camper lights on from outside and I'm just sitting outside on the step because we already put our chairs away. But anyway, um, I talked to the city employee, Chris, it, this campground is run by the city and Chris was super helpful and gave me some um, things to mention that we th he thought might be helpful. So I'm just gonna read them real quick. Veterans Campground is open year round to the public. It is on a first come first served basis. No reservations available at any time. Um, registration opens each day at 7 a.m. He recommended that Sunday through Wednesday plan to arrive before 7 p.m and Thursday through Saturday plan to arrive before 10 a.m. to have a chance of finding a vacant site. Both times we've come here, we did come early like seven or eight a.m. and there were plenty of sites, but it was on a weekday. We were here on this visit from Thursday to Sunday. And when we came on Thursday, there were plenty of sites, but on Friday, it did fill up. Um, there are there is a three night maximum and the cost to camp per night is forty seven dollars per site, accommodating no more than eight people, and you may add one extra vehicle for thirteen dollars. For all RVs, including trailers, fifth wheels, and Class B Sprinter style vans, the cost to camp is fifty three dollars, and there is a twenty one foot length limit. There are some. Um, discounts available, veterans, military, um, senior discount. I have that in the video, which um, you can check out also online, but I'm including it in the video as well. There are no hookups, but there is a dump station and potable water available. And this is included for campers. There's a fee if you're not a camper and you were just like driving through, that would be $13. All fees are due upon arrival in cash or check only. And also there are uh, camp uh, fire pits, but there's no campfires from June 1st through November 1st. So I think, oh, and there are 40 campsites here at the campground. So I hope that's helpful. We loved it. But as, you know, just as long as you know all of the limits before you come, um, so you're prepared and you know what to expect. I think you'd have a great, t it's, it's a mile from the wharf in downtown and like two miles from the Monterey Aquarium. It's just a perfect location. So we loved it. It's beautiful. So as you enter up Veterans Drive, you come to this four-way stop. There's the sign and there's the entrance which I will go to in just a minute, but I wanted to point out that there are some sites over on this side. From here, they look to be all tent sites. So from here at the entrance, right there is the dump station. So as you come up here on the right, this is where you would register, but what you need to do first is go pick your site and then come back and fill out your envelope. And then right here is the office, but it's not really for you to, I think it's just for staff. You, it's all self check-in. So there's one loop right here, which I'll show you. And then there 
are some loops in the back. As a matter of fact, I think we'll just get the car and go for a ride. Take you around in a truck. Here's the playground. There's some sights on the right. It's number eight. Here's the shower and restroom building. Okay, so we made sure nobody's in the shower, so I can show you the showers. There's just two showers. This one. Can I see there? That one's... Okay, this one is bigger. And it has a little bit of other stuff. So here, flip it around. There you go. And it just operates by pushing this, and then it runs for like 30 seconds at a time, and you have to keep pushing it, but you know, it's fine. It was warm. Changing table. Two toilets, sink. So it's small, but it's adequate. Now these sites you'll see up here are more wooded. The one right in front of us is 21. So if you like, you know, to have more of the shade and more of the woodsy feel. This is definitely uh, a cool loop. We wanted to have clearing <laughs> for our Starlink and <laughs> probably better cell reception in general, but it's definitely really pretty. And in the morning they play Reveille and at night they play Taps. It's really cool. Um, I think it's like 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. but not sure about that. No sights on the left side of this road, so I'm just showing you the right side. Looks like some maintenance buildings up ahead. And we're gonna go around to the right where that takes us back to the entrance. And we'll go right and take this loop. And there we are again, and we're back at the entrance. So we'll go back. 
back over by the uh, dump station. entrance again. I'm going to turn off the video and I'll take some still shots when I can pull over but we're turning right now on Veterans Drive. So here we are on the other side of the playground. You see our, our blue camper over there in the playground. That's down toward the entrance just to orient you. And then there's a walkway up here, and to the right, there's another playground. So I'm going to walk down there and I'll take a couple pictures of that. So there was low fog in the campground like all morning and then it cleared up but even now you can if you look in there between the trees it just comes and goes all day look at that this is august no yeah yeah this is the beginning of august sorry <laughs> i was gonna say it was july but yep yeah, it's august beginning of august and temps are like highs in the low 60s and then in the evening I think it got down to about 55 or so 